Yo, today I'm gonna review the Nike Zoomfly 3. Uh, disclaimer I bought this uh, once used. He said he ran only a hundred kilometers in them, and they looked pretty okay, like some dirt. Now I have run two runs in them myself though, through some mud on the way, so that's why maybe, but I don't have any stats or millimeters or anything like that, I just want to say my few quick thoughts, like a first impression, even though I run twice in them, I feel like it's a first impression um the first maybe three kilometers i ran in them i was not impressed they felt weird but like suddenly maybe one kilometer like four kilometers i was like these are nice like the reason i bought them uh, used is because in no way they are pretty expensive yeah you can get them on sale sometimes but uh, uh, they look nice online and uh, well, he, the seller who sold it um, said they were nicely used not like not uh, hard use they didn't smell that's the most important thing and yeah uh, I don't want to like I have a lot of running shoes now and I don't want to pay for full price then i'd rather buy it second hand and if i like it i will buy a fresh pair after these will run out i see people on youtube reviewing this saying they have ran 800 to 1000 kilometers in this shoe so if it's only ran 100 kilometers in it i got a lot of life left so i just want to say the fit they're feeling like they are a snug fit like um, uh, on the angle of the foot like but they are a little bit long but it, it, it I wouldn't go down a size but I think they are a little bit longer than your regular Nikes but still go with true to size because they are a little narrow and it's not like you have clown feet uh, in the shoe or anything like that uh, back to the run like I felt like well, where the three first kilometers and then I felt like I got this pep in this shoe and it felt like it's almost like I had to warm it up before it felt nice and uh, the second run uh, I didn't get that I, 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 I uh, first one it's like I don't know it was like maybe I getting used to how I landed uh, I don't know what type of runner I am but I think I'm like a when I run I I feel like I'm landing like here like if you know what I mean so yeah uh, and and uh, I had shoes not like Nike uh, uh, Nike uh, but uh, Nike this uh, Nike react element or what they call 85s um, um how can i say i had uh nikes with this same material before with this stiff uh vapor weave or whatever you want to call it and they felt restricted and painful if they were a little narrow hair it don't stretch much but for some reason these uh, have some uh, mesh underneath so it protects your foot a little bit from this uh, and I don't find any discomfort in this at all uh, I went through the size that is uh, 43 or nine and a half in uh, US sizing and uh, yeah I wouldn't go down I think they would fit in the 42 and a half actually but I wouldn't like maybe because now it's getting summer and your feet swell a little bit up when you run in the heat and uh, yeah uh, that's just my first impression 
Uh, I think this is one of the best shoes I ever tried uh, for faster running. I know it's like the next percent and everything out there. Again, I don't want to pay for a shoe. Yeah, a lot of people, um, a lot of people uh, praise it, and I see a whole lot of people running it. So I guess it's good. But most times, I just buy a, 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 um, a couple of uh, when I see a shoe I want, but I'm seeing the price tag is quite high, and I don't want to. What can I say? I don't want to splurge that. I, I got them for $45 or $50. So why not? Like, okay, $50? Okay, I'll buy. Let's see. If I like them, then I can buy the full price. Because a lot of shoes you buy, it's not meant for your foot. It's meant for 90%, 80% uh, of the people who buy it. But once in a while you get a shoe that just isn't good for your feet and uh, <clears throat> when we we are, on, we are on that it's like I just got me a brand new pair of the Hooker Clifton 7 and I run twice in them now I'm still waiting for the shoe to be this amazing shoe that everybody's talking about because so for me it's not bad but I don't feel anything special when I'm running in it and I don't feel the cushiness. I don't feel that Yeah, so But then again, I had the other Elevon 2 hooker shoe and I ran in it for like 150 kilometers before it got soft so uh, And now I love that shoe, but it took me a while to break that thing in so I don't know but uh, yeah uh, that was the review or first impression of the um, <clears throat> Nike Zoomfly 3 and I will get the, a review up in a couple of days of the uh, Clifton 7 and then I will get a review of some perfumes so stay ready and stay tuned or what the... Karim, you broke it. Bye! <laughs>